flying. Alicia! How are you? Oh my goodness, it's so good to see you. How are you? Fine, thank you. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. I can't believe it. I saw the sights from the airplane when we were landing. The city just looks so huge. I can't wait to get started and see it. And how was my uh, migration and customs? And yeah. <laughs> the queue is a little bit long. Um, I managed to get through it quite quickly when I was... When I was coming out, I saw a lot more people arriving, so I imagine that there might be times when that's a really big queue. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, so I think if I'd known in advance, I maybe would have brought a bottle of water because uh. I'm kind of hot already. <laughs> and I saw there were some people with babies, so maybe it would be a good idea for them to bring some food and things like that for babies. But it was fine. It was a little bit, maybe about half an hour. Great. Yeah. Hey, we have to buy the ticket for the taxi because I didn't bring my car. Uh, okay, yeah. And we have to buy the official, we have to go this way to look okay. for the official taxes. Okay, yeah, I heard about that. So in Mexico, when you get to the airport, you need to buy your ticket for the taxi inside the airport. Uh, it's recommended that you only take the official taxis from the airport as it can be quite dangerous. You might get people come up to you in the airport and offer a taxi service. Always make sure you go to the official taxi stand You tell them where you're going, you pay for your taxi in advance, they'll give you a receipt, you go outside the airport, and that's where you find your official taxi, and they're the only ones that you should take when you come to Mexico City. But before we go to the hotel, I, want, I have some money that I need to change. Should I do that here, or should I do that in a bank? Actually, or? it's the best way is to do it here. In the airport? So shall yes. we do that before we go to the hotel, yeah, and then it's go. done? Okay, yeah. great. So can I bring my suitcase in there? Yes, just approach, and um, yes. Do I need to sign? Thank you so much. Thanks. Bye bye. So this is you have to choose one of these. Okay. And uh, you have to tell them where are you going. Okay. Um, So you can ask, we are going to La Condesa, so you can ask yourself. Okay. <laughs> Hi, do you speak English? So the guy here at the secure taxi stand has told me that I take this ticket and I'm going to get one of the white taxis. So I can see there are yellow taxis, there are white taxis. So it's important to listen to what they tell you there uh, to make sure that you're actually getting the taxi, the, the safe airport taxi. Uh, that is the only one that's really approved in, in Mexico City by the authorities. So I think if you didn't go with what they tell you and wanted to take the risk, you might end up in, in a few problems. So um, always remember to buy your ticket before you get to the taxi rank. So let's go. So I'm just on my way to my hotel and I'm just thinking back about, about the airport and my arrival. And the, the airport's actually really modern. It's a, it's a big airport, but it's quite easy to move between the terminals. They have a little monorail train that moves between Terminal 1 and Terminal 2. Um, and I noticed as well, although I've chosen to go by taxi, that you can take a, a metro, which is the underground or the subway in Mexico. It will take you right from the airport um, to various stops all over the city. Now, I would say that if you're going with a backpack and you can walk about easily with your backpack on your back, then yeah, take the metro. It's, it's cheap, it's easy, it's quick. But if you have a large suitcase, I'm told there's a lot of stairs in the different metro stations. That might be a bit difficult. Um, for anyone who's got a suitcase on wheels or a suitcase that's quite heavy. There's also a lot of buses that go to various cities all over, all over the country. So it's really, really well connected. I'm really excited now to get to my hotel, to get checked in and see what Mexico City has in store for me. So this is a boutique hotel and in the Condesa neighborhood. Good morning. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Thank you. So in the Condesa, there's only boutique hotels. Uh, they are very beautiful. Wow, I kind of imagined skyscrapers and tall buildings. I didn't imagine no. this at all. This is beautiful. Good morning. Oh, thank you very much. I have a reservation. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, I'll just get these bags down. Mrs. Kelly, how has been your trip? Oh, I'm a little bit, little bit tired, but I'm very excited. It's my first time in Mexico City. Wonderful. <laughs> Could it be possible that you can help us to sign here? Of course. Thank you very much. Thank you. There you go. Mrs. Chloe, you have here your room key. You thank have a perfect location. And remember, we are working 24 hours in case that you need something. Oh, thank you so much for your help. Thank you. You're welcome. So, 
I'm finally here in my hotel after a very, very long trip from Ireland. I'm a little bit tired now, so I think I might go to my room and take a nap before I, I start off on my venture in the city. But as you can see, there's been so many things just from the time I landed in the airport to getting to my hotel that I think are going to be really, really useful for any of you who want to travel to Mexico. So things like uh, only getting a taxi from inside the airport, paying on your way out and then giving them the ticket that you got when you paid, um, not picking up any taxis in the street, not flagging down taxis, only taking secure taxis that either your hotel has called for you or you get from a sitio or a, a taxi stand. Um, I have to say I'm really, really pleasantly surprised. The airport was beautiful, a lot more modern than I, I think most people would expect. What I've seen so far on, of the city on my way here as well was definitely beyond my expectations. The airport is super well connected. Um, you can get to so many cities from there. You can take the underground all the way into the city center. As I mentioned earlier, I took a taxi because of my bag, but anyone with a backpack, you would be fine getting, um, getting on the metro, the underground or the subway system. Um, I'm really excited about my hotel room. It turns out this hotel has been designed by two famous Mexican designers who use a lot of indigenous and ethnic designs. So I can't wait to see that. Um, so this whole trip, I suppose, is going to be about showing you parts of Mexico that maybe you haven't seen before and giving you some really important practical tips to stay safe, to make the most of your journey. So, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on my website, and there'll be so many more tips to come. Yeah. I'm ready. Great. Thank you very much. Well.